kitchen. Today I'm going to do some cream puffs. Uh, going through my mother-in-law's cookbook, I found that she had uh, cream puffs and she said she used to make them all the time and I wanted to try a recipe. So I decided I'll make a video of those cream puffs from my mother-in-law. I used to make cream puffs when I had a catering business, but it was more appetizing. These, like this, I've never made them, so I'm gonna make them to see how, how they come out. So come with me and we're gonna do it together. I have here four um, cup, four eggs, one cup of flour, half a cup of uh, water, one cube of butter, and a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. And we're gonna do this on the stove. In here, in a spot, I'm going to put my water and my butter, and I'm going to bring it to a boil. And then once it comes to a boil, we add the flour and the salt. You have to excuse me, I've been with a really bad cough, and it's not going away, so I have to have a cough drop in my mouth, so I won't be coughing. So I'm gonna let this here come to a, a boil until the butter, butter melts, and then I'll show you. Okay, I'm gonna add the salt. My butter is almost melted. And then we're gonna add all the flour at one time. There's one cup of flour here. And now, the stove on low and you want to mix this until it comes all into a bowl. I think it's not gonna mix but it will. And we're gonna cook this flour until you start seeing a film in the bottom of the pan. If you want it I let my batter, this dough to cool, and then we're gonna add one egg at a time and mix it. And you wanna mix it, that egg, until it's well incorporated into the water. And you wanna mix it because that dough might still be hot. Let's add the other egg. to make ahead of time and you can keep them in the freezer and then whenever you have company just fill them whatever filling you want they're perfect to always have on hand I don't remember my mom making that but then again a lot of things she probably made and I don't remember My mother-in-law talks about these cream puffs all the time, that she used to make it, and her, her kid said it was the best cream puff, so I went out to try it. If you don't have a beater, you can do this by hand. It's just going to take you longer, and you're going to have to put some elbow grease into those arms. And that's what you wanted, kind of a sticky kind of batter. I'm gonna put, I have a pastry bag, but if you don't have a pastry bag, you can use a Ziploc bag. It works too. So I'm gonna put the pastry bag in a cup because it makes it easy to put the filling without dirtying all the whole bag. And I'll probably have to do this in batches because this bag's not very big. Very. You want to twist so that doesn't come out. 
and I usually use um, a tip, a star tip, but this time I'm gonna just do it freehand. I need this to be bigger. You kinda just wanna make circle. And however big the size you want. Her recipe, it says that she made, they would give her 12, so she must, they must not been really big. short one and I have the temp the oven at uh, 275 uh, this is going to cook for 45 minutes the first 15 minutes at 275 and then the rest at uh, 200 so that's where it's going okay when my cream puffs are cooking I'm gonna do the cream I have one cup of heavy cream heavy whipping cream and then I have a uh, half a cup of powdered sugar and then some vanilla. Uh, I'm using this, but you can use anything else, any kind of cream and be fine. You got lemon cream, a custard, anything. cream is done. You can do this lemon, you can use lemon flavor, you can do any kind of um, other cream. Um, I'm doing a simple, so I'm going to do a whipping cream. So I'm going to, I'm going to keep this in the fridge until my uh, um, cream puffs are cooked and then cool. Okay friends, I took my cream puffs, they are cool and I sliced them in half and now I'm going to fill them with my cream. I'm using the same pastry bag and I put a tip this time and now I'm going to put the cream in here and fill it to fill up the, the cream puffs. And you don't want to fill them up too much because then they'll start um, gushing all the way out. And then you start putting the little top on each one of them. And you can make these ahead and then put them in a Ziploc bag and keep them in a freezer and then fill them up whenever you need them. You can fill them up with chocolate pudding, with different things. I'm gonna continue filling and then I'll come back. 
And here it is, friends, my cream puffs. I put some fresh strawberries. I happen to have fresh strawberries, and I put it in um, and put in powdered sugar on top. And look how beautiful this looks. Look, this will make a perfect dessert for Easter as we come up for Easter. It's light and it's easy and you can assemble just um, hours, minutes before. Um, so you can go to try to this recipe. Um, they taste delicious and, uh, um, and give it a try. And uh, give me some feedback. Give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel and share my, my videos with your friends and your social media and on your social media. I really appreciate it. And until next time, let's get cooking.